Hey guys, what's up? Today, we're going to go back to the very basics of marketing, the core pillars, if you will, that have stood the test of time. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the four P's of marketing. With the evolution in technology and the internet, there have been remarkable changes in the way that marketers work by means of revising old marketing processes, priorities, and concepts, and remodeling these into forms that best work in the new world of communication. However, even with this, the core principles still remain the same. Briefly, the four P's of the marketing mix are product, the good or service that is designed to meet a consumer's needs or demand, price, how much you charge and the impact it has on how your customers view your brand, Promotion, the marketing strategies used to bring awareness to the product, for example, sales, public relations, consumer education, etc. And place, which refers to how a product or service will be provided to the intended buyer, or rather, location. So many people are eager to promote their brands that they forget the technicalities involved in the marketing process. So, let's get into more detail with some examples. First, we start with the product. This is the actual physical good that is being sold to meet a consumer's need or demand. Let's take Coca-Cola for example. They have a huge product portfolio and under this banner are some of the products that you consume every day such as Coke, Sprite, Fanta and even Powerade. The question you want to ask here is, do I have a product worth buying? When you think of product offering, there are two things you want to consider. One, what problem am I solving? And two, what makes my product unique from the others that are on the market? Then we move on to price. Is my product priced appropriately? There are four main strategies to choose from when it comes to price. One, cost plus pricing, two, competitive pricing, three, penetration pricing, and four, value-based pricing. Going back to Coca-Cola, they are competitively priced. Prices are not too high as to go beyond the average consumer's reach and not too low as to give the impression of low quality. Now that we've established our product and priced it appropriately, we move on to promotion, which is the action you take to ultimately drive awareness to your product and boost sales for your business. Promotion considers things such as digital marketing, advertising, email marketing, social media management, and even coupons and sales, such as promotions like buy one, get one free, which I'm sure you've seen when you've walked into a store. All of these activities help build brand awareness and get your target audience to engage with your business. Finally, the fourth P in the marketing mix stands for place, which simply means the location in which you sell your product. My question here is, can my target audience be found where I'm selling my product? Coca-Cola products are sold in more than over 200 countries in six operating regions. Two very helpful questions in determining place are one, where are my customers? And two, where are my competitors? Remember, don't be so eager to generate traction that you get straight into promotion without considering the other elements of the marketing mix. Thanks for watching today's video. This is the part where I ask you to like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Cheers.